Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a game review of uh, Limbo. Uh, it's a platform, indie, puzzle sort of game. Um, very interesting little thing. Uh, basically the, the write-up is uh, Uncertain of his sis sister's fate, a boy enters Limbo. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, it's the developer and the publisher is Playdead and it's currently for about £7 on Steam and the most weirdest thing is the file size is only about 150 megs or that's how much hard drive space you need. It is literally a tiny little thing. Uh, anyway, what did I like about it? I, I liked it. Um, I kind of have played a few adventure kind of games lately and kind of enjoy all sorts of weird and wonderful things. It's not a, a side scrolling thing because you can, well I suppose it is. Um, but again, the, 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 I like the, the the puzzles. The puzzles in these are awesome. Uh, some are infuriating, but even from the get go, you've you've got to think about like sixteen, eighteen achievements you can get from Steam if you go through Steam. Um, and they're basically these little glowing like pearl things. You find one at the very beginning, and then you sort of wander around. And I've I've no idea how you get some of them. I mean, you there was one that was wedged between two bits of rock but like, there's no way of getting anywhere near it so it, I suppose if you want to go for achievements go for them um, so yes it's basically puzzles and you're uh, going from where, where you arrive and you're, you're trying to find uh, the sister I think is the the end um, so the, there's there's lots of puzzles uh, you definitely need your volume so you can understand what's going on you can kind of hear little things going on uh, there's weird things like there's a like a slug thing that attaches to you and trust me when you have that happen you'll hear my frustration if you want to watch my playlist of what happened um, there are some puzzles that you're kind of what am I doing what, I, I've, I've done this thousands of times there was one with a cart I, I it it must have taken years of my life because it felt like it was draining on me but eventually I fathomed it out but it's it's just some of them are, some of them are good and fun and they're all fun when you complete it you're like oh yes I've done it finally and you move on to the next bit um, it's just getting past that bit whatever bit it is and luckily as well y you don't have uh, save points like most games well you do have save points but you can't dictate where your save point is like it's a checkpoint reached or anything it just saves at certain points um, it's dark and it is flashing a little bit so I'm not saying because I, I can get migraines now and then um, I f could it cause epilepsy? I haven't got a clue um, but it is kind of a bit of a, a flicker in the background all the time uh, I thought it was kind of glitching out on me but then I realised when I watched the videos back of other people yes it does flicker um, it's very dark as in the video itself is quite dark uh, but that that you know, th this that adds to it. You know, there's certain things that are just you're like, oh, what the hell? What have I done here? And it's it it is good. And I I think as an indie game, and that's what it is, is an indie, an indie um, uh, game. It's awesome. You know, I'd be happy to play more by this guy or this this company because it's a very good um, game. You know, infuriating but good. Um, if that makes any sense. So, uh, there wasn't, in controls wise, there was hardly anything, uh, sound, you can't really change the volume or anything, you can't do any of that stuff, it's just basically on your keyboard, your, your arrows on the keyboard, uh, and I think it was control to do something, and that's it. Um, oh, and spacebar to jump. But that's, that's about it. Or was it spacebar? No, I think it was even just up. I think it was just up. Um, yeah, so. Uh, if you like platform games uh, or puzzle games, definitely puzzle games, then I would go for it because platform games could just be bouncing around. But this definitely has a lot of puzzles, and uh, yeah, yeah, I liked it. It's uh, quite gruesome at certain points, um, but it's well, not gruesome, but you know what I mean. Good, definitely, definitely well worth it. So I have a full playlist uh, which I've linked in the video, and um, I have other uh, let's plays and uh, reviews as well. So hopefully you've liked this uh, this quick review. Uh, subscribe to my channel, press the old thumbs up, maybe write comments below and like I say watch my my uh, entire vision, uh, version of Limbo. Anyway, 
Thank you for watching and goodbye.